Hello everybody and welcome to your next Allegro HD tutorial. In this tutorial you're going to be learning about um, putting graphics into your programs. In computer terms and game programming terms, uh, sprites are referred to as images that you display in your game. So once I refer to sprites, that means a graphic that you've loaded or any graphic that you're using in your game that you've loaded through Allegro. Okay? So, right now I'm in paint.net, and in for now we're just gonna create a sprite for us to draw. I know you probably have your Mario, your Mario sprite sheets and your Zelda sprite sheets and stuff, and you're like, I want to make a Mario or Zelda animation. Well, first thing you have to understand how graphics work in Allegro and how to load them first. The tutorials after this series is going to be about sprite animation which you guys are actually going to love because once you get a sprite animated on the screen you're going to feel like you're going to feel on top of the world. So anyways, um, when you're working with computer graphics you will always learn that the computers read graphics better when they're uh, um, a size of a power of 2. Uh, I don't know why the computers read this better, but if it's a power of two, then it's easier for the computer to recognize it, and it's optimized better for the computer. Um, so sometimes in certain cases you won't be able to make the size of power of two, but it's up to you, whatever. But if it's a power of two, is better. So if you look at my canvas size, um, the actual size of the image, it's 64 by 64. So that is a power of two. And I put on um, my the initials CME for coding made easy, and I made the background magenta, and the RGB color for magenta is 255 red intensity, zero intensity for green, and 255 intensity for blue, and make sure the background for whatever image is magenta, and you will see why um, I'm telling you this in this tutorial, okay? So once you've created your graphics, then we're going to go and save or save as. I already saved it. And just like the same place you put your font, you're going to put your sprite. So for those who forget, you go in Visual Studio, you'll go to your project folder, click the project name, then click the project name again and store it in that folder. Now note, you have to store it as a BMP. Um, there's only certain file formats that um, Allegro can recognize. One of them is BMP. I don't think it can recognize JPEG or TIF or I'm not sure about TGA though. Um, but to be on the safe side, make sure it's a bitmap. And uh, I'm there are ways to make it view t to be able to use PNGs and stuff with Allegro. Um, I don't know if I'll get into doing those in these tutorials but for now we're saving them as a bitmap make sure it's BMP and if you're in paint sometimes you have like 24 bitmap uh, one, 250 some six color bitmap I'm not sure I don't think it really matters but to be on the safe side just you do 256 color or 24 color bitmap or whatever doesn't really matter I don't think I never had a problem with it so anyways, um, when you save it, uh, yeah, save in that folder and open up Visual Studio and go to your project. If you've noticed, I removed the colors from here because we don't need the colors. And it's the same program from last time. And uh, But let's go on to loading, the, setting the variables. Now, uh, oh, before, I think I had in my program last tutorial, I think I had something called bool increase or something like that. Don't worry about that. That was f that's for a future tutorial, so don't worry about that from the last tutorial. Anyways, um, this is how we load um sprites. So the bitmap class has a lot of different functions that you can use within it. So right now I've created a bitmap just like I create a bitmap for the buffer, and I've named it sprite. And then instead of playing create bitmap because we're not trying to create a bitmap to draw to we're gonna load a bitmap which is loading an image so we put load underscore bitmap have our parentheses and then we put in quotations and we type in the actual um, bitmap name so this so the image name so I saved it as sprite 
and it's a BMP file so I'll put sprite.bmp and the next one is null that's just if you want to determine a certain color palette for it most likely when you're using Allegro this won't matter to you so just set it to null so now we have our graphics we have our our sprite loaded and you're like hooray we got our sprite loaded now what do we do okay so this is what we do we want to be able to draw our sprite to the screen so we already have our movement code already on here we just need to be able to draw we need to be able to draw the sprite on the screen so we can move our sprite around the screen so then um, Allegro has a lot of built-in drawing functions that you can manipulate if you look at the Allegro manual but only a certain ones that I see that will be relevant to you the other the other ones could be relevant to you in the future and some of them are used for like um optimization right but in Allegro programs they will rarely get that big that you have to worry about optimization but it's up to you if you want to do different programming practices and such anyways um so another thing to know is that you notice that my clear bitmap is up um used to be after we blit and I put it above when you use the timer routines and such and and stuff you don't when you're regulating f, f frames per second and even if you're not doing it I don't believe it doesn't matter where you put the clear bitmap as long as it's either before you draw everything or after you draw everything and notice I don't have a rest function anymore when you're regulating frames per second then um with timers and such then you don't re I repeat you don't need a rest function in some cases you might but most cases you won't cause some cases it might cause lagginess anyways um so let's get back to the program um so to draw a sprite to the screen there's a function called draw underscore sprite and it takes four um, th parameters so let's look at what they are it asks for the bitmap dot b um, bmp so what you're drawing to so we're drawing the sprite to the buffer it asks for the sprite so I named the sprite sprite so was, I'm typing that in the x coordinate that you're drawing it to and the y coordinate that you're drawing it to right so that's what I have below it and let's see what we get when we draw it so then we get this screen now you're like wait didn't I have a magenta background on it what happened to the magenta background well in Allegro and most other types of programs magenta will be set as a transparent transparency color right now you will be saying why magenta well magenta is probably one of the most least used colors once it comes to game development you will hardly see any like magenta looking parts of a player or the sky being magenta or anything like that so they make magenta the color that is that is default for um, transparency I believe there's ways to change it in Allegro um, but there's also ways to draw it with the transparency there as well because sometimes you want to draw the magenta there but then sometimes you don't but there has to be ways to draw so then you can show the magenta area as well right so let's go back right here so I have two things um, commented right here and they're called um, blit and masked blit now blitting well you've learned about the blit function when you're when you were going to when you were learning about the buffer and hold on let me check the time so okay I'm back so the blit function basically blits one bitmap to another bitmap and then it asks you a certain amount of other details right and some people prefer to blit um, to draw this most times when you see my tutorials or my code I will be drawing sprites with the blit and or masked blit right and you'll be saying why do that 
the draw is easy. It just takes four parameters and draws it where you want to draw it. Well, in my next tutorial, when you learn about sprite animation, you will understand the reason why the blip function is more convenient rather than just the draw sprite. Because when you have to draw certain sections of a sprite sheet and such, then the blip function becomes better than the actual draw sprite sprite. It does more function than it can than the draw sprite func sprite function can do. So let's look at the blip function right now. It's asking for our source. So we're drawing the sprites to the buffer. Okay? And uh first thing is asking our source. So where we want to start drawing our sprite from. So we want to draw it from the top left corner, so we put 0, 0. The destination on the screen where we want to put it, so that's the same as just putting the x and y coordinates. So we put the x and y coordinates, then it asks for the width and the height of the sprite. Well, when you're regulating a lot of sprites in your game, it's hard to regulate the different sizes of different sprites. So Allegro comes built in with two um, variables inside the sprite class um, or in the bitmap class or whatever that will tell you the size of certain bitmaps. So you to the name of your sprite, since I named it sprite, you do that. Then you put the dash and an arrow. That's basically saying it's pointing. It's, a, it's pointing to a variable or whatever. So it's a pointer. And you just put W for the width and we'll put sprite dash point or arrow right arrow and we'll put h for the height and then that will give us the, the width and the height of the sprite so let's um run this program and lastly before i forget um for memory leaks uh to prevent memory leaks you have to put destroy underscore bitmap and you have to destroy the sprite at the end of your program you don't then you're gonna be you're gonna be having memory leaks so let me run this program and as you can see it draws it with the magenta background in there right so then you might be saying okay I just said that blit is most likely better than draw sprite right but say I want to blit with some transparency in my sprite well that's easy enough there's something called a mask underscore blit. It is the same thing as a blit function, but if it detects magenta, then it will make that color transparent, fully transparent, so you won't see it. If I run this program, same thing as draw sprite, but you don't, yeah, so you don't see the magenta area. And there's other areas, um, like there's there's stretch blit and all these other things where you can stretch a size to f to be a certain size or you can shrink it to be a certain size and there's a lot of other blit functions but for now um, these are the main things that you need to know about drawing sprites to the screen and look forward to your next tutorial they're probably going to come into three in three different parts and you're basically going to be learning how to do sprite animations uh, so you can do sprites walking, sprites running, you can probably do sprites attacking, doing like anything you want with sprite animations. So anyways, thanks for watching this tutorial. I know it was kind of long, but I hope you enjoyed it. So thanks for watching and bye.